my name is Katie and today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite things. There is nothing I like doing more than going out on an adventure with my best friend, Piper. This is my dog, Piper. So whenever you're taking your dog outside, whether you're hiking or camping or fishing or biking or hunting, whatever it might be, you want to make sure that you're prepared to take care of your dog on the trail. So what does taking care of your dog look like while you're out in nature? A good place to start is the 10 essentials, but think of them for your dog. When you think about hydration, you need to make sure of a couple things. Number one, you want to have enough water for both you and your dog. It's going to be really thirsty while you're out hiking. And then you also want to make sure that you have um, the right stuff to make sure your dog has the water and can drink that water. Piper, sit! So when you do that, there's a couple ways you can do it. Super easy. The easiest one is just to bring a collapsible bowl like this guy here. And then you can actually give your dog water right from your water bottle. Sit. And then another way you can do this, if you do some practice beforehand, you can actually get your dog to drink right out of a hydration pack. Oh, you want some water? Good girl. So if you have a hydration pack, you can actually train your dog to drink right out of the hose. But you do need to practice that before going outside to make sure they're comfortable drinking water that way. Good girl. Hi. I'm Caitlin, and this is Oliver. When it comes to first aid, you want to be prepared to address the most common injuries dogs encounter in the outdoors, like paw injuries, splinters and thorns, and ticks. A simple first aid kit for dogs, like the Adventure Medical Kit Trail Dog, has all the first aid supplies you need to treat common injuries, as well as first aid information to tell you how to treat those injuries. When your dog is in pain, he won't understand you're trying to help him and may be unpredictable. So it's always best to muzzle your dog before trying to treat him. You can use the included triangular bandage in your kit to make a muzzle. Lay the bandage over the bridge of your dog's nose. Tie one overhand knot under the nose, like so. And tie one knot around the back of the neck. Hi, I'm Chelsea and I'm here with my dogs uh, Penny and Coco and our Adventure Medical Kit Trail Dog Medical Kit, which has all of the things you need to treat the most common trail injuries for your dog. I wanna highlight a few things in it. Um, one of the things that you can use is the splinter picker, which is great for removing ticks, splinters, um, and porcupine quills. Um, my dogs have definitely been known to run into some porcupines um, on the trail. So what you wanna do with this is put it as close to your dog's skin as possible. Help Emmy and grip firmly and pull the quill, tick, splinter straight up out of there. Um, after that, you can treat it with an antiseptic wipe that we have in the kit, and that will make sure that there's no infections or anything. Another thing that we have in the kit are everything you need to, <laughs> everything you need to <laughs> treat any pad issues. So if they slice their pad open and are bleeding, um, you can apply pressure with a sterile gauze pad and then wrap the foot with um, either the roller gauze or the cohesive wrap. Coco, come here! Come here, Coco! You want to get your paw wrapped? And then you can treat it with the antiseptic tablet. Come here, Coco! Come here! You guys want treats? I have treats. There you go. All right. Come here. You can just wrap paw right up. Good boy, Coco. Good boy, Coco. Oop, not a toy. And then they'll be all good. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes dogs aren't the best patients. But you have everything you need in the Adventure Medical Kids Trail Dog Kit. <laughs>